Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to a weekly gaming news show. We are here. Yeah, E3 has just passed, and we have a full house in uh, full with us right now. We're yeah, streaming. Well, people sleeping on the couch. Yeah, we got people on the couch. We got we have people everywhere. <laughs> um, E3 just ended. This is going to be our E3 roundup show. We are streaming live from our brand new home, uh, AWGNS podcast on Twitch. Uh, so welcome everybody to the stream. Um, this is a like a freaking moment right now because it's our season three uh, premiere. We have all types of crazy shit going on. I don't know what to think right now, but <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and get the introductions out the way. My name is Trunell, aka True Sonic. Um, if you want to see more of me, you can catch me on the YTOS. We also have Boogie here as always. What is going on, Boogie? Man, nothing. <laughs> nothing. I'm full. I'm frustrated. Yeah, it'll be a happy Father's Day, man. Like, yeah, Father's Day. Represent, dog. Represent for the for the dads yeah. out there. I, Nintendo better watch out because I'm in a bad mood now. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> uh, we also have Mount Lover here from Try Two Games. What's going on, Mount Lover? What up? My name is Mount Lover. You can catch me on Try Two Games uh, or the New Challenge of Discord. And I'm also in Smash Ultimate, so you can go ahead and yeah, yeah. He's he's now. been uh, announced for Smash Ultimate because uh, everyone is here. He's so in Smash Ultimate, everybody's yeah. in Smash, so Mount Lover's included. And we also have Infinite Inventory here with a very special guest, Reggie, for the first time on the podcast. <laughs> let's get some. Let's get a round of applause. I don't think you guys can hear this on my end only, but I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's been ducking and dodging. We've been trying to get him on here for a long time. No, uh, uh, no, no, I don't want to do it. No, I can't. <laughs> we finally got him in the flesh. Reggie from Infinite Inventory. Oh, was also here, uh, wandering around somewhere. Oh, you there? I'm here, editor in Infinite Inventory, full effect. What's up? In hey, Reggie, effect. can you get like a like a doll or like a piece of paper on a stick that you could just like shake around when Oh talks? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like everybody's gonna have to close their mouth when O talks, so that, that everybody knows uh, oh, that it's him. <laughs> He's the overseer, man. Yes, he is the overseer. But welcome everybody. Uh, we have a pretty meaty show. Um, uh, I hope you guys enjoy our new overlay. This is uh, brand new. It was um, courtesy of Boogie. Boogie went out and had this commission for us, as well as all of the the graphics and the animations that you guys saw so yeah 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 i, I see you, you like that huh my lover <laughs> <laughs> yeah so shouts out to boogie for making all of this happen um let, let's go ahead and get into the show now that we have the pleasantries out of the way um normally when we start we usually uh, go with our weekly uh icebreaker but we're going to skip that because we don't have enough time. There's no time. <laughs> so we're going to jump right into the meat and potatoes. We're going to get into our quick hits. And uh, these are short little lightning round style stories that don't necessarily deserve a deep dive. But they are stories that did happen this week, amongst other things, because like, geez, E3 was ridiculous. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah. E3 was a was it a was, little it was, while, yeah. yeah. It was quite wild. A lot of announcements, a lot of games to talk about. We're gonna get to the majority of that uh, here in a second. Uh, but let's go ahead and tackle these quick hits uh, first off. Uh, Boogie, why don't you go ahead and introduce the first one? Um, well, this this actually came out of E3, but there was more to it um, right afterwards. Right. Uh, there, there's a possible new Xbox coming in a couple of years in 2020. Right. Um, we heard um, at the end, uh, Phil Spencer did mention. Um, you know, that they had stuff in the works. Right. I thought and, it was pretty weird <laughs> to come out yeah, and say that. Uh, I, I think he did that because they, they thought Sony was going to announce something. So he kind of, mm. one of those preemptive strikes. Right, right. But, uh, I mean, they have a, a bunch of stuff work they're working on, um, including a new HoloLens, um, some new service devices. But the information that came out about the Xbox is codenamed Scarlet. Um, it's going to be a family of devices. Um, and that's about it. And they're looking to have it around 2020. Yeah. So, so yeah, because just like um, before when PlayStation announced that the PS, uh, the next PlayStation wouldn't be here for, you know, another two years. I guess this was kind of like the same thing as like just putting putting it out there. Like, yes, we're working yeah. on a next generation console. Put your dick on the table right there. Right. Yeah. 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 Blow. 
knowing how big Xbox is run. Yeah, that's a that's a big girthy one, right? <laughs> Pause on that. I mean, yeah, I mean, the big thing is, you know, I mean, we're all used to that five year, you know, the five year console cycle. So we're yeah. at that fifth year almost. So we could, I mean, last last console cycle was what seven years, seven plus, yeah, right? Seven or sorts. So, I was just yeah. under the impression that with the with the introduction of the modular upgrade that we we may not see uh, a next iteration. We might just keep getting more more upgrades. That's that's what I was. Uh, They're gonna that's bundle what I was... like a hollow lens and a VR headset and a tablet with like Xbox just a Ultron. souped up Xbox. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's the new Xbox. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah it was going I... going back to uh, Sega. Was a Sega CD thirty two X thirty two X yeah just this connected shit and just like yeah. building like build a freaking robot out here yeah but I, I think you're on the right track I I think it's going to be another module up, upgrade where the Xbox One S or excuse me but the, the X isn't going to be obsolete it'll be able mm -hmm. to work with some of the newer games and then the next version will just be able to do more right 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 but here's a question where they get rid of the X the original Xbox One and the S like we no longer use these ones you must get an X and move forward. I, I think, I think the OG Fat Boy Xbox One might be deprecated, but the One S would be like the bottom line. Then you have the X would be the mid tier, and whatever ne whatever is next would be the new one. And this this is, in my opinion, is more moving consoles towards a PC where you have a game that has multiple settings, and yeah. you got the low, mid, mid, and high settings. Just get a PC. <laughs> hey, I, just, I mean, and then they did. He also, uh, Phil Spencer also mentioned that they were they would be continuing their backwards compatibility program. Right. So whatever they come out with will, um, you, you know, at, at least games. support the previous generation, yeah. and 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 beyond. I mean, we we could play uh, OG Xbox games on the one right now, so that's that's pretty dope. So yeah, new Xbox in 2020. Um, they're gonna have to. Sh I mean, they. We're going to talk about it. They're, they're going to have to show a little bit uh, more on the game side before I start to invest in another console. And that's why I thought it was weird that they even brought it up. It's like, yeah, you guys announced some games, but it's like, y'all been gone for a, like a good solid two years <laughs> on the software side. I, I don't think I'm ready for new hardware just yet. Well, but, uh, blow your mind. It's yeah. blow your mind, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the next story. And this one's actually pretty interesting. It's coming out of the world of Fortnite. Uh, because if you've played on uh, the PlayStation 4, uh, you are not allowed to play on the Nintendo Switch is uh, pretty much what's going on right now. Uh, during E3, the uh, Switch version of Fortnite was announced. And so everybody and their mama, you know, signed on. And, you know, that's also another story that we're going to talk about. Um, and a lot of people realize that when trying to log on using their uh, Epic Games account, they got a law uh, a login failure message that stated that um, the this account is not allowed to um, cross play with another platform. Um, right. They also mentioned that there's nothing that Epic Games can do. Nope. And nothing. <laughs> and Nintendo there's nothing that do. Nintendo can do. So, so they, <laughs> you're they pretty go use process of elimination and figure right. out who you need to direct your anger towards. <laughs> yeah, I, I just listen. Um, I don't know. Sony is trying to take the uh, consumer um, hostility crown away from Nintendo with this with this particular go around because mm -hmm. one, Sony is the number one console. If, if people are playing Fortnite, they're either playing on PC, which is by far the most users. Right. But then Sony is a, a very close second. I mean, some of the biggest streamers play on PlayStation. Um, and the, the thing is, um, this has been an issue forever. Because if you if you logged in with a Microsoft account, you couldn't log in with your on the Sony account. It's been blocked. I didn't know but, that. Yeah, it's it's big now because a lot of people that have PlayStations didn't have Xboxes and vice versa. Where the Switch isn't a primary system. I'll say that until um, there's the no end more of times. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not a primary system. So a lot of people that had PlayStations brought Switch as a secondary, so small, a portable system. It's better than playing Fortnite on your. Um, cell phone. Abacus. Oh yeah, <laughs> your abacus. Yeah, it's better than playing Fortnite on your dishwasher. So right. So and yeah, they they're just they're they're just being assholes about it, and their response is just just basically say, hey, look, we got more players, we sold more systems. Um, play on PlayStation or don't play. That's pretty much what they said. When you're at the top of the food chain, you could technically do that. You can get away with that, kind of. Sometimes for a little while. For yeah, for for, for now, so everyone catches up. Yeah, still at the top. 
And this right. is this is the conversation we've been having. It's like what game, what title, like what experience is uh, um, that players are having? Is it going to take for uh, for Sony to you know just break down that wall and allow for crossplay? We thought it would be uh, Minecraft, but you know, we ha they haven't budged on that. They haven't budged on um, Rocket League. Uh, Rocket League, and now you know Fortnite is is you know, love it or hate it. It is the biggest game. Um, in the industry as of right now like as a collective like it is it is getting the most news when you're seeing it on like cbs news at at seven you you know like it's it's on people's radars and so the thing, they just launched a hundred hundred million dollar tournament or a season prize hundred million dollar prize season and the thing is this is a bad game for them to pick to do that because fortnite is not demanding so sony saying we have the most powerful it doesn't matter for fortnite you can play. Right. You can play. You can play Fortnite on a on a freaking graphic calculator. Graphic calculator. Yeah. <laughs> you can play that thing on anything. So, that they're shooting themselves in the foot. Um, and it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a problem. Um, it's a lot of people upset about it. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean they they definitely should be. Um, because it's like, it's not even that you're you're playing, you know, you're trying to like you know pick one platform over another like the account is a it's a epic games account mm -hmm. so like why is it being blocked you know cross play like if i want to take my account somewhere else and play i should be able to do that like exactly. sony should have no bearing on where i take my public account or for a video game I'm but that's that's just those are just my thoughts i don't like fortnite at all so I just, none of this matters to me <laughs> anything to say there mount lover uh, so basically what's going on here is that uh, you you play the game on PS4, you go to Switch, and they tell you you can't use your uh, account data from PS4. I mean, right. from, yeah, from PS4. And it also works vice versa is the impression that I got. That if right. you go to yep. Switch with PS4 it, data, then it's like you can't it, use that data either. Yeah, if you play it on any console, you can't play, you can't link it with the Sony account, basically. Mm -hmm. And if you play it on Sony, you can't link it to another console account. Where if you have an Xbox account, which I do, I was able to link it to Switch, to my Switch. Yeah, um, and you have people. Uh, I was, vice uh, versa. yeah, I was at a cousin's house, and you know they were playing Xbox. Somebody was on a laptop. You had three people on their phones. I was like, damn, you guys are freaking doing it yeah. up. And the thing is, it works fine with P if you use it on PC or iOS or Android. That's not a problem. It's just with the console. Yeah. If you linked it to another console, you can't link it to a Sony account. That sounds yeah. like agreement issues between the actual like uh, console manufacturers. Like they, they, it sounds like they had a reason for wanting to do that, and that's that's fine if they wanted to to impose these weird restrictions. But they gotta tell people about it. They've gotta make it very oh, clear yeah. when yeah, you yeah. purchase the game that this is how it works between yeah, platforms. I think I think that's the worst thing about it is that nobody was told that hey, mm -hmm. if you use your Epic Games account on a Sony on Sony um, platform. You won't be able to take it anywhere else. On another, onto another console. Honestly, onto another know, console. I yeah. I don't get how that benefits anybody. I I feel it like it doesn't. It doesn't benefit Sony, Sony at all. You playing it on other platforms. All right. Yeah, and it's, it's definitely like I said, it's a poli it's a Sony policy issue because crossplay works. I mean, back was that it was this year, right in October, where yeah. Fortnite accidentally, Epic accidentally turned on crossplay between Xbox and huge air quotes. Accidentally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> somebody <laughs> tripped over it worked. the, the block worked. crossplay wire. So, yeah, right. somebody <laughs> tripped over the crossplay. Oops. <laughs> Sony and PlayStation can play. Uh, Sony and Microsoft can play together for an, a day. It's like so, if somebody accidentally released Half Life Three, and they were like, "No, sorry, man, <laughs> but we messed that up." My no, bad. this do, this doesn't exist. No, man, come somebody on. tripped over the have the, the release Half Life Three wires. Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> it's just really bad because Sony, all Sony has to say is, "You know what? Go ahead, go ahead and do it." And it's probably five minutes. We're all playing together. Not even. Right. Yeah, they, Not they, even. They, they've said that. Uh, um, Epic Games said it's just a button press, and mm -hmm. it, it'll take however long it takes to to matriculate through the servers. Yeah, so so um, as always, it's it's Sony who's just holding back progress when it comes to crossplay. Because I would I would love for a lot of other um, multi platform games to have crossplay because yeah. uh, it 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 invigorates the the player base. You know, you have a, a larger player pool. Like I, I was hoping that Dragon Ball Fighters would uh, would have exactly crossplay. Dragon Ball Fighter Z would be so much more more alive if it had crossplay. Yeah, it's not, not to say that it's dead. It's just it's just it's such it's fragmented. It's just fragmented. You have player base. Yeah, they don't have it on the same platform. Right. Yeah. So that sucks. But uh, yeah, that's the news coming out of Fortnite. We're going to be talking a little bit more about that game uh, later on in the podcast. But let's jump into our next quick hit, uh, Boogie. What we got? Uh, two million downloads of Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> 
on the Switch in less than 24 hours. So they announced Whoa. it on they announced <laughs> it on Tuesday, and two million people downloaded it pretty much that day. I mean, again, that just points to you, and and that's where this the previous story started fl- flowing in is people were like, well, I play on play. Why can't I connect my PlayStation stuff? Um, yeah, it's. It's definitely still a phenomenon, and it's going to get bigger because people are going to want to play it and play it a lot because they announced that $100 million prize uh, or that $100 million season. Uh, they announced the f- whatever, the Fortnite season, eSports season with the $100 million prize, prize money. Throughout so, all the tournaments, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. A lot of people are going to get destroyed in that game. I don't yeah. know if you're <laughs> professional play of Fortnite, but it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, next up, we got news out of uh freaking boss key productions like yeah. i thought that these guys were were gone well they, they are on the way out oh, yeah way out. <laughs> yeah it's just uh you know lawbreakers it was supposed to be free to play then um the stoop the um publisher and i forgot the name of that publisher um i can't remember yeah I whatever it was self-published i thought it was no thought... nope okay no. it was yeah, uh, some some chinese company wasn't it yeah uh, i forgot the name of them but they uh they decided at the last minute to charge 40 bucks for it and it's been 40 bucks for the longest time is now free It's going offline on september the 14th so from now until the september 14th you can download oh, it and play it's free. published by nexon oh yeah nexon that's it oh, oh, that's why it went oh, bad yeah. Oof. That's yeah, yeah, it, was, Oof. it went bad because of that no, yeah that was, that was, that's a bad decision nexon is a disease just don't, <laughs> don't, don't give nothing to nexon in america or just nexion just coming back over here because their decisions in terms of getting money and whatnot based on just like anybody's numbers mm-hmm. it's a whole it's a whole reason why like certain cash shops and anything that they touch or whatever are charging a ridiculous amount of money for shit that shouldn't be shouldn't be in a cash shop in the first place yeah but, because we we've actually uh dabbled into some games that uh were previously nexon and then um once they got out of that the game just flourished after after yeah, you- you just about one game, really, just freaking DFO. Yeah, that's, that, I mean, that's the only game that I played. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've played more. Looking at a lot of Nexon's repertoire, like, you could say that something is a sinking ship, but mm-hmm. Nexon is, there's no ship there. It's just sink. It's just a giant <laughs> it's a, and I mean, they keep, floating they keep, with a hole they keep, in it. They keep, they keep, they keep, <laughs> yeah, they keep themselves afloat. I mean, honestly, like, Nexon America here or whatever, not to take away from the lawbreaker whole thing of them taking away some shit because it's pretty shitty, but anything that comes from either Korea, China, or, you know, anything... In the Philippines, the one that come over here, that Nexion. Nexion is the biggest contender to try to grab some stuff up and try to capitalize some things or whatever. But they will always stay afloat because for some reason, people will always play, um, well, not Vindictus because that's closing down. Um, freaking, oh, yeah. Freaking, they'll always, people are always still playing Maple Story and people are always still playing fucking um, some other shooter game or something else on there and some other popular stuff. But uh, yeah, Nexion America and Nexion, Nexion in China or Korea and whatnot is really, really, really good. But Nexion here makes very bad decisions in terms of their uh, commercializing and taking content out or whatever. And then just their business strategy is just to get as much money as possible from the consumer. So <laughs> I'm not so random, with, the, with random goals. It's like someone's just throwing darts at the board. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like stuff just not selling enough. But yep. Whatever. So, so uh, if you if you're uh, for if for whatever reason you're itching to play some uh, Lawbreakers, it's uh, yeah. it's free and <laughs> till yes. it doesn't exist anymore. Right. I'm gonna play some right after. I can't <laughs> fucking wait. I played that E3. Yeah, I played I played that E3. It's not a bad game. It's really not a it. bad game. No, it's <laughs> not. It's free. not. I That's actually, it. yeah, yeah, it yeah definitely. It it, it, free, it definitely could have been free. Yeah. Seeing as um, how it was, it was. You know, deliberately going after the for uh, not Fortnite, but the uh, what's it called crowd, the Overwatch. Overwatch crowd, yeah, with the hero hero base shoot. I mean, but it had enough to set itself apart. But like when you when you come out the gate, you already have something something that's established, and you want to charge people uh, an entry fee just to just to get in. It's like now nah, I already have uh, Overwatch. I'm I'm good, and I think that's where a lot of people that because unlike Radical Heights. Uh, Lawbreakers was actually a pretty solid game. I I, I got my hands on the on one of the early. Heights was okay. What? I heard Radical Heights, I heard Radical Heights as an early access game that only had five months of work. <laughs> the game actually ran fine, and it was really? all right. <laughs> oh man, I I saw something completely different. <laughs> I'm looking at the reviews on Steam, and people are people are vouching for the game. Like I don't I don't know that that I could believe the people that are like, oh, better than Fortnite, but um. 
the the majority of the complaints are this should be free to play. Now yeah. it's free to play. So. so so rejoice, everyone. <laughs> you can play it for free now. Yeah. Uh, Until September, point, then it's dead. <laughs> yeah, it, it was released on X, I mean not Xbox, but PlayStation and PC, but it's not on the PlayStation Store anymore. It's only available on Steam. So PlayStation 4, if you don't have the game anymore, or if you don't have the game, uh, download you, you need to get a PC. <laughs> oh, so go ahead and do it up, man. All right, next up on the list, uh, and these are still our quick hit stories, we have uh, EA uh, in the news. What, what's going on with EA? Uh, yeah, so they just doubled down on on the misogynistic trolls um, oh, that was... That. that was of women in Battlefield. Yeah, yeah, that was coming after my, for women in Battlefield, uh, I guess... Uh, I mean, we, I, we, don't, we, don't, we don't have to argue the fact that women were in World War II, right? No, no I, don't, I don't know. Yama... <laughs> Bad. What? Do we, do, we, do we have? Do we have any? Do, hang on. We ha- <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know the numbers. Do we have any that. any history buffs that want to debate this I <laughs> live on stream? I, I don't care to debate it. Because I don't it think women exist. Battlefield is not made a, yet. Even if they didn't, Battlefield is not supposed to be like a realistic World War II simulation. It's not, man. It's not a World War II. Could have put same. aliens in it. And I wouldn't have gave a damn. <laughs> oh yeah, two aliens. Yeah, you know. Alien. Okay, can't play as a girl. Well, I didn't care because I'm shooting you in the face. So I don't <laughs> I'm like what the heck. Yeah, I, hey, yeah. hey, but I, hey, but I say to that, not to cut anybody off. I say to that, fucking like I keep telling Reggie all the time, equality. Y'all want that? Get ready for some equality. Real quick. Hey man, quality <laughs> for that ass. <laughs> I will stab a good woman in the throat. Well, why would you stab me like that? Oh, oh you don't want to be in the game no more? Nah. <laughs> Get this knife, take the shotgun in the head. (laughs) Equality for all. Everybody gets it. I don't care. (laughs) Yeah, so so they basically doubled down saying that, you know, this is something that we're going for. They're not they're not backing down because there there has been a very vocal minority that's been, you know, trying to come at EA saying that, you know, using the fact that it's it's not historically accurate as a way to you know try to push their freaking like misogynistic goals or whatever. And that's that's, that's actually untrue. Um, yeah, there were women fighting in the war. Um, I, I think we talked about it before. I think Bulgaria enlisted women alongside men. Uh, the Russians had a uh, woman flight squad, a bomber squad, um, and there were women. Uh, I think in French, there were French women and. And World War II? Uh, yeah, in World War Two. Yeah. yeah, World War Two. There were several hundred wounded women in combat, aircraft, Soviet Union, other things and whatnot. Uh, you know, may you know, not may, but like you know, other stuff, locomotive things, uh, working on the materials and both stuff. They were there. Yeah, and they were fighting. Right. They were, they're they were they're fighting. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, this, so it's it's happening. Yeah. Everybody that doesn't <laughs> doesn't want to believe that it's it's happening, it's happening. So. Yeah. Just suck it up, my boys. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, was fa- it's, volunteering. Like, it's shit. the snowflakes. It's the yeah. snowflakes that call everybody else snowflakes. Right. Uh, <laughs> Are we not about to get political? Like something a snowflake would say. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking snowflakes. So that was our quick hits. If you guys want to suggest any stories to us, make sure that you hit us up on our social media. You can see it all down at the uh, bottom of the screen, right underneath Mount Lover. So uh, hit us up on Twitter. Hit us up on Facebook. Let us know what you think about the stories that we uh, mentioned here and you can also submit them to us as well and they'll most likely be added into the quick hit section but now uh, we're going to move on to our next segment and uh, we're going to be jumping into this week in loot boxes brought to you by Nintendo and Rezzy, Reggie Fizeme, uh who um, who has been very friendly towards uh, the loot box uh, fiasco he's saying that they've been treated unfairly that demonetization practice has been treated unfairly. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Um, Nintendo's gonna have loot boxes. I say Reggie asked. first. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to hear Reggie first. All right. I think with, uh, I think with yeah, Reggie, Reggie, what do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Look, with, 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 with uh, what, what Pizza Bay said is loot boxes speak for your unfairly. brethren. No, <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. You know, I, I respect Reggie. Not really. I think he break my legs. Well, you you know his body is always ready. So, <laughs> but uh, the the big thing that he said in his little interview was, you know, why not give the player options of giving loot boxes and also give them the ability to buy whatever they want. I mean, I had actually no issues with loot boxes. I had issues with everything is unlocked through loot boxes, and generally the grind is too crazy for you. So pay money, 
for random shit. That was mm. the issue. But if I pay money and I say, I want A, B, and C, I want A, B, and C. But if I'm playing the game and it's just throwing stuff at me, like, hey, you just got X, Y, and Z, A, and then later down the road, I got B and C. That's cool to me. That's fine. That's just random dopamine. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah, to me, <laughs> loot, boxes, loot boxes themselves are inherently bad. It's loot box-based progression that's bad. And, and and that's what they did in um in Battlefront 2 and uh, that's what you know started off this whole like crazy conversation because there's always been you know bad monetization practices you know but it, it, I feel like until now it's always been something we could deal with like okay yeah you have to pay an extra like two dollars for every costume or or whatever with the you know, random um, microtransactions and DLC but when you when you base progression around uh, randomness and reward people that are willing to just sink in money uh, to to level up, like that's that's when it's 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 unfair. That's when it becomes unfair, and that's where it becomes unfun for a lot of people. Uh, and you know that that's my take on it. So I I agree with Reggie on one end. Like yeah, it's not inherently bad, but like neither is like a lot of terrible things. Yeah, what he and said was the, as long as. Oh, go, sorry. Ahead, go ahead. What he said was uh, as long as there's other ways to get uh, items in game besides loot boxes, there's nothing inherently wrong with loot boxes. Which I mean, I can understand that. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, on the other side of the, uh, the spectrum, Reggie, don't don't defend loot boxes, man. Like the, we've we've given loot boxes enough chances. There's no reason for us to say they've been treated unfairly. Re loot boxes have treated us unfairly. And right now they're getting their just desserts in terms yeah. of how people are starting to react to them. So like it, that's not that's not the the, the shit that you want to die on. That's not. Yeah, you you don't want those to be your last words. <laughs> okay, Here lies I, Reggie Fizabe. Loot boxes, uh, eh? Not so bad. <laughs> it's like really. <laughs> honestly, honestly, for me, um, if we're talking about in the spectrum of uh, companies handling loot boxes or games or developers having loot box and whatnot there's a dime a dozen we can go on from that i probably download like six games that has loot box or whatever even even a game like now like dauntless has the nerve to try to do the same deal or whatever where they're trying to c cash me out with all these random chances to get a certain thing without me grinding or whatever but i digress like for me um for when it comes to loot boxes i agree with reggie um where it's not Reggie Fu Fumes on my roommate Reggie. Uh, forget that. <laughs> the real Reggie. Uh, yeah. The real Reggie. <laughs> I mean, important Reggie. The, the thing I agree with is that what what is in the box that is what I need, or is it something that I can progressively get? I do agree, though. Not this Reggie. Not the Reggie here, but Reggie Fumes. Who made? I do agree that they there can be some way to do it well, and there can be a way where it's not like you know ripping your fucking arm off the bay pay for a 60 dollar game and now pay another 60 dollars to spend in loot boxes which is basically unfair to anybody but i do see what he's coming from with this where it's like hey if we put loot boxes in a game or whatever if it's reasonably priced or if it's anything else and i believe in nintendo in terms of reasonably price of certain things in whatever but not everything slow down boogie but freaking <laughs> <laughs> i see this but... man steaming over there <laughs> <laughs> he's fuming he's fuming <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I do agree. I don't, I don't like loot boxes in any other cases of freaking adding anything that I can possibly get or whatever. But if it's something where it's like, oh, you know, you get a loot box and hey, you get this random item and whatnot that I didn't really need, but it boosts up slowly, then that's fine. But if it's a something I inherently need to keep from playing the game, and that is the goal of the game is to constantly rewind, get another loot box, rewind, get another fucking loot box, rewind, get another. Box, that's that's cool. And Overwatch does that, where it's like keeps going but not like how we're talking about battlefield or whatever or that battlefield my bad star uh battlefront. star wars battlefront. battlefront yeah yeah battlefront where it's like yeah so you need this shit because everyone will shit on you if you didn't spend another hundred dollars yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will but, not be able to compete if you do but not I, purchase yeah. this here <laughs> but i feel that if nintendo were to do loot box or whatever they would know about okay how much we're really going to charge loop if loot boxes were going to be in the game i really don't see them charging like hey it's 70 dollars to do that i like their cell phone games which i don't fucking understand but whatever yeah i was about oh, to say when it comes to games. nintendo and pricing i do not trust them motherfuckers they are still selling donkey kong country tropical freeze for full price fuck that <laughs> <laughs> look man you're gonna pay that nintendo tax <laughs> fuck <laughs> that hey, yo, you want to buy these nintendo games classic nintendo games for the 10th time ever on the 10th different device yo yeah full price boys <laughs> 
nostalgia, man. It's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so that was this week in loot boxes. We try and grab at least one loot box related story just to keep the conversation going because I feel that they want us to forget about how terrible everything was. That's why EA got up on stage and said none of their games are having loot boxes. They want us to forget like how bad of a situation this is, that way that they can implement it uh, again in, a, in another way. But um, yeah, that's why we're gonna make sure that we keep the conversation here uh, going on a weekly gaming news show. So if you have any loot box related stories, make sure you send them our way. You can hit us up on Twitter, on Facebook, and um, leave comments down in the comment section below if you're watching this on YouTube as well. Remember, but, if you have a good story on loot boxes, write it on a piece of paper, put mm -hmm. it inside of a box, along with a whole bunch of other stuff that we don't want, and right. send it to us. <laughs> exactly, exactly. 